Now supposedly there's a room here that belong or was used by President Marcos and we're gonna try to find it. Man, this is so creepy. This is the presence room of Marcus. This is where he stayed. today guys hope you guys have been doing well and for those new to my channel I just want to say welcome to the Roan Army my name is Steve Roan and we go on epic adventures every single week anyway I'm back home in the States I'm catching up with my parents and sister if you have not seen the previous vlog I highly recommend you do it's an entire vlog of my whole experience in the Philippines in a more personal level because I was there having a family vacation and I got to experience my culture and roots for one of the very first times and I love you guys' feedback, the comments have been amazing, and I'm glad you guys enjoyed the video. Anyway, really quick before I start this exploration video, I just want to mention that I'm going to be hosting a giveaway in collaboration with my friends over at B&H, one of the leading retailers in the world for photography and videography equipment. The giveaway is going to be valued at $1,000, and I want your guys' feedback really quick. Would you guys like a camera or a drone? Message me on my Instagram and let me know, at Steve Ronan. And the giveaway entries will start now. What you want to do is just subscribe to my channel, leave a comment down below, but not just an ordinary comment. Tell me your story and what you would do if you won this giveaway. This is a very special giveaway because I've just reached over 500,000 subscribers. That's half a million subscribers, guys. We're halfway to a million and we're growing fast. I mean, I... I believe I hit 500,000 like a month ago and now we're already at 536,000 subscribers. So we are growing super fast. We're the up and coming next best exploration channel on YouTube hands down. And it's all thanks to you guys, the Roden family. So I really want to do this giveaway. But that's all I want to mention guys. Go enter for the giveaway and before we begin the exploration video, leave a thumbs up. Alright, enjoy. Here. We gotta find the entrance now. Oh, there's an abandoned car right here. This one is the old deep well. Just made it inside one of the entrances. That looks proper haunted. Even more creepy is even the goats just chilling here. Now, a lot of celebrities and even high political figures have stayed in this hotel. This looks like this could have been the convention hall. Everything has been stripped away from here. I bet huge chandeliers used to be on the ceiling. They used to play many events and shows here. This is one gorgeous hotel. It must have looked really nice back in the day. It looks very creepy. There's a lot of dark corridors. Sure, drink a lot of wine here. There's so many goats. So I just entered, and there's so many birds flying around. It smells like bird poop. This room is crazy. Smells really bad. I think it's not good to inhale. Oh, oh my gosh. Wait, Jeff, stay here. Stay here. Stay, stay. Whoa. All right. 
Now supposedly there's a room here that was used by President Marcos and we're gonna try to find it. Man, this is so creepy. Upon further research that I gathered from the locals, I found out a good amount of historical information. This hotel was known as the Sabuanga Plaza Hotel and Casino. Opened in 1979, it was the first ever 5 star hotel and the largest hotel in Sabuanga City and Mindanao during the Marcos era. The facilities consisted of a huge swimming pool with a pool bar, restaurant with a coffee shop, a huge function hall, disco room, and casino that was known at its time to be the most beautiful casino in Asia. Walking inside the hotel made you feel like you were walking into a palace. But the Five Star Hotel closed in 1986 and not much is known why. There are only rumors and speculations as to why it closed down. Some say it was due to bad management or perhaps someone getting murdered. Lastly, most locals say it was closed because it was affecting the success of other businesses. But in the end, no one really knows the truth. Now it just sits abandoned with rumors and myths of demons, spirits, and a huge snake lurking deep inside, protecting the room where the former president stayed at. Check out the elevator. I'm not sure how many floors this hotel has, but we can kind of get a hint right here. Maybe one, two, three, four, five floors, maybe? Wow. Okay, there's probably over 250 rooms here. Carpet is just destroyed now. Look at the giant cobwebs. This place is old and no one comes here. I'm really scared to go further. It's so dark. What are there snakes? Be really really careful there's no door anymore so here's a glimpse of how one of the rooms would look okay I just feel like a giant spider would just fall from the ceiling but yep looks nice actually I mean, for a room that was used back in the 80s, looks legit, looks like a really good, even like four or five star hotel from today, if everything was fixed up. Well, it even came with a balcony, you can get outside. It looks like most of the doors are closed for the hotel rooms. Yep. Looks like this would go to another wing. You know, this leads back to the main entrance. Looks like there was a fire here too. Hey, it says yakin right here. So right, right in the area we're in, in Sabonga, you got the yakin tribe and the Thausus that stay here. These are like tries that have been here for hundreds of years. Oh, can't get in. I bet these were like meeting halls. Alright, wow. We made it back. The main entrance. You can see a good view from up here. A veranda. I'm not sure what that means. Maybe this could have been like a theater inside. Can't even open it no more. Look at all the birds' nests. They're just hanging on the walls. It's so cool how these type of birds act similar to bats. 
It's also really bad in this room because there's just so much bird poop. You don't even want to touch any of that. Now this wing is really destroyed and dark and creepy. Man, the ceiling just has collapsed completely. This one is still pretty good. It's still in pretty good shape. To me, the room is very colorful. These are typical colors you would see in Zamboanga. They call it the, the Latin city of the Philippines. You can see the influence it had. Looks like I just made it all the way to the bottom floor. I can't get inside here, but look. Look through there. Yeah. Hey, little guy. So I just got information that Marcus's room was upstairs. So we're gonna head there right now. Someone's shoes. Oh, frick. Okay. Yo, there's lots of spiders here. There's a lot of spiders. What the heck is that? That's the door though, that's the room. Darn. So it's really unfortunate, but we cannot get inside. It's locked. But this is the room where President Marco stayed at, and you can already tell that this room must have been so different from the rest because of the door. Like it's red and there's a mirror right there. Darn. Alright, so this room managed to be opened from this corner. This is the presence room of Marcus. This is where he stayed. It's really nice. I mean, he has his own bedroom here, an own balcony, and over here was a huge living room. So yeah, this is the nicest room in the hotel. And only the rich or very influential people would stay in these rooms, such as Marcos. I think this is it, guys. I'm gonna head out now. Thank you so much for making this part to end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. This was by far my favorite exploration in the Philippines that I've ever done. Actually, I haven't really done much in the Philippines yet, but this was definitely by far one of my favorite locations in the entire world that I've ever explored. It was super scary and creepy, but full of history, which is what I loved. I also loved the architecture in this place because it had like a lot of Sabuanga influence in it. It had some stuff that belonged to the Yakin and the Tao Su tribe. I don't know if you noticed but if you saw the colorful carpet, that's all Yakin made and that's from my roots so that was so cool to see. Before I end the video right here though, I just want to say a big thank you to all my supporters and to those Filipinos watching, Mahalkata, 
don't forget to enter the giveaway. The giveaway is going to be very, very soon. But that's that. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button bell, leave your comments and thoughts down below, and share the video. Until next time, guys, hope you guys live a life of freedom and wonder, and I'll see you all in the next adventure. Peace.